In two previous videos I showed you the principle of operation of the boost converter and the Esaki oscillator. Now we will join these two concepts to create a very simple boost converter. This is the oscillator part of the circuit. The pulses produced by the oscillator are fed to the power transistor's base through the capacitor. The power transistor switches the inductor on and off and this increases the input voltage. The inductor voltage is stored in the output capacitor. Finally, at the circuit's output we will have a voltage that is higher than the voltage that we have at the input. This is the circuit on proto board. Here we have the voltage input 12 volts. This is the positive rail and the negative. Here we have the first transistor, the 2222. The first pin is the emitter and collector. We can see that the base pin is not connected. The second transistor is the tip 41C. It has base, collector and emitter. And the other parts of the circuit, the capacitor of the oscillator, the output capacitor, little inductor and the output diode. The output voltage of the converter, this is the positive output, is where the diode is connected and the negative is the same as the circuit ground. I now have the circuit connected to our power supply. We will apply 12 volts and the multimeter is connected to the output of the converter to check the voltage. I will now apply the input voltage and we can see the output voltage of the converter which is a little bit higher than 200 volts. We have to take into account that the output of the converter is not regulated. That means that the voltage will drop when we connect a charge. Here for example I have put this little neon lamp as a charge and let's see how the circuit behaves. The neon is on and we can see that the output voltage for this charge is 84 volts. I have now put a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor at the circuit's output as a charge and let's see the output voltage. We can see that it is around 40 volts. With this voltage and according to Ohm's law, the current through the resistor will be 18 milliamps. Some final comments. This is a very simple converter, just a few components, but because of its simplicity, it is also limited. The output current is low, as you could see. The output voltage depends mainly on this capacitor that controls the frequency and on the inductor. You can play with the values of capacitance and inductance to see the effect on the output voltage. <coughs> also, the output current depends mainly on the value of this capacitor. A larger capacitor will give you more output current. However, if you put a larger capacitor, you may also want to, char to change the transistor with a more powerful one.